Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm super excited about Spellbinders Clubs for this month. It's all about getting ready for Christmas. This card focuses on the stencil of the month, a five-piece stencil set that includes the mask. And speaking of masks, that's where we're going to get started. So that my mask will stay in place when I do my stenciling, I'm going to treat it with Pixie Spray. This is a low tack adhesive. I'll get started on my stenciling and that will give time for the adhesive to dry on the mask. I'm going to be working on soft pink cardstock that is A2 sized. Bow and ribbon is created with two stencils. However, I'm just going to use the detail of this image. And I'm applying with a blender brush Picked Raspberry Distress Oxide Ink. I love stenciling. It really levels the playing field. Whether you're after a quick and easy card or you're not really confident with coloring, stenciling gives you an excellent result. And I'll finish up with a few highlights with Pigment White Ink. I'm using Altenew's Cloud White. Before I proceed with the rest of the stenciling, I'm first going to take the mask that was treated with the Pixie Spray and I am going to protect the ribbon and bow. Then the next stencil is lined up right over top of the panel with the mask. And the Pixie Spray with its low tack adhesive keeps that mask in place very well. So typically you would do the leaves next, but I chose to do the branches. They're being inked up with pumice stone. This is a fairly soft gray, but I'm going to be doing my leaves in white and the portion of the stem that will overlap the white leaf, I want it to be quite light. You may notice that I'm stenciling on a mat this is a grip mat. It has adhesive on both sides. It quite literally grips the surface that you're working on and also holds your cardstock that you're stenciling in place. There is nothing worse than having your cardstock slip as you're applying your ink. And this does a really good job of holding everything in place. All right, now for the stencil with the leaves. Each of the stem ends will overlap into that oval opening that is going to create the leaves. Because this stencil has quite a bit of the surface area that has been die cut, I'm going to pounce on the ink rather than rub it with a blending brush. I'm using a tool that is actually called a paper pouncer and I'm applying cloud white ink. This pigment ink gives good coverage over colored cardstock. And you may have noticed when I first started inking this stencil that I was picking up the corner just to check out what the image was looking like. And now for the final stencil that will add in the berry detail. I struggled getting this one lined up, so what I did was first line it up with the previous stencil and then laid it down onto my cardstock. I'm going back to the picked raspberry that was used on the ribbon and the bow. And there's not a lot of surface area that has been die cut in this stencil, so I'm going back to the blending brush. I want to add some sparkle and shine to the berries. I'm going to be applying with a palette knife Nouveau Glitter Drops White Blizzard. Typically this medium would be squeezed out of the bottle in little droplets for accents, but it also works well for stenciling. I've just squeezed some out on some scrap paper and I'm applying it in a thin layer. When this medium dries, it will be clear, but it'll have a really great sparkle effect. I'm using the foliage dies from the small die of the month to create an arrangement in the center of my card. Everything has been die cut from Spellbinder silver or white glitter paper. This is the piece of the design that kind of evolved. I do not have enough foliage and I ended up cutting quite a bit more. The pretty stenciled bow is going to be covered up. I'm placing a flat large glue dot right in the center of it. 
the foliage will be added in radiating from that center point and the glue dot will hold everything temporarily in place. So what I find when you're creating an arrangement like this, you always need a lot more than what you think. My glue dot is completely full now, so I'm just going to layer another one on top. So initially, I was planning on finishing up this arrangement with the poinsettia in the middle, and I changed that up completely. Instead, I decided to put the sentiment in the center. This is one of the sentiments that is included in the glimmer of the month. It has been hot foiled with white opaque foil on pink cardstock. It was cut with the coordinating die. And as you can see, I've cut that poinsettia in half and I'm placing it on the back side of the sentiment on either side. The die was also used to cut white sheet foam. And so now that the poinsettia is in place, I'm going to stack the sentiment on top of it. Then the sentiment is adhered to the center of the arrangement. Now to make sure that that foliage is good and secure. Some of the leaves will be popped up with small foam squares. The elements that are too small for the foam squares, I'll use just a little dot of liquid adhesive here and there to ensure that they are going to stay in place. And this card will be finished up with lots of berry color essential gems placed in and around the arrangement. These gems have adhesive on the back. I find it easiest for placement to use my craft pick. The pick is positioned between the backing paper and the bottom of the gem until it catches the adhesive. Then it can be easily moved and popped onto the card front. And that completes this card featuring Spellbinders, Stencil of the Month, Sprigs and Bow. This card was fun to make, and I hope that you're as excited as I am to get a jump start on those Christmas preparations. Thank you for joining me, and as always, I appreciate your visit.